In physics, average velocity is one of the characteristics of an object that we use to describe its motion. We do not consider velocity to be the same thing as speed. The average speed of an object is equal to the distance an object travels over a given time interval. The average velocity of an object, on the other hand, is its displacement divided by a given time interval. To see how these are different, consider the example of me traveling down Main Street. I travel one block to the gelato shop on 2nd Avenue, two more blocks to 4th Avenue, two more blocks back to the gelato shop, and three more blocks to the dog food store for a total distance of eight blocks. Including the time it took me to stop at the gelato shop, Let's say the total trip took me 24 minutes. My average speed during the trip then would be eight blocks divided by 24 minutes, or one third of a block per minute. Speed is a scalar quantity because it is only described by a magnitude, in this case, one third of a block per minute, and it is not necessarily described by an overall direction. We calculated my average speed while I was traveling both eastward and westward. My total displacement during the trip, however, is four blocks to the east. Displacement is a vector, which we will call delta d. We will call the time for the trip delta t. This is the time interval, or the change in time. My average velocity during the trip is the displacement divided by the time interval which equals four blocks east divided by 24 minutes, which is one sixth of a block per minute to the east. We see that average velocity is equal to a vector, displacement, divided by a scalar, time. This means that average velocity is a vector also, which we will call v average, or v. This also means that velocity has both a magnitude and a direction. In this case, the magnitude of the velocity is one-sixth of a block per minute, and the direction is east.